Recently, the Chief of Staff for the United States Forces Command, Lt. Gen. Howard Bromberg, visited Fort Hood to determine how well the process is working for soldiers going through the Integrated Disability Evaluation System, known as IDES. Lt. Gen. Bromberg visited Fort Campbell today to see how effective the process is working for Fort Campbell soldiers. I think it's very important right now that we look at the Integrated Disability Evaluation System because we have a lot of soldiers going to be start, that are in the process right now. We want to make sure that the process is, is respectful and as streamlined as important uh, for every single soldier, no matter what their condition is. And so what we want to do is make this thing, I won't say it will never be totally trouble-free for them, but we want to make it as trouble-free as possible. It's the right thing to do for these warriors that have served our nation, and so we're looking at finding every little thing we can that will improve the process. And so I decided to come out in all the force gun installations and walk around every facility to see what the standards are and where we can make improvements. That's the biggest thing, making improvements. This is not an ADA compliant room, but, uh, well, this, but, but it, this is already ADA, yes sir. How many rooms are ADA compliant? 26. Complete. But I think it's, it's important to look at everybody's best practice and see what they can glean out of it. You may glean one capability that Fort Hood's doing here and that may improve a 5% increase in, in productivity or, or moving through the system and Fort Hood may learn something that increases 10% there. So we'll mix and match all those different things we've seen. But we've already seen, uh, one, it's great command involvement from everybody. Two is everybody's trying to find those nuggets or the secret sauce, as some people say, what makes the system better. And we're finding little things we can pass back and forth. We stopped today and looked and we saw one young soldier and his wife was with him. I think it's very important as you go through the process. If you're married, have your spouse with you, have a friend, a significant other, have somebody else go through the process with you because if you are somebody uh, who doesn't quite understand this, what can be an overwhelming process, it's helpful to have another set of eyes and ears there. And the other thing is, is the process is, is there to take care of them. If they're not getting satisfaction out of the system, they need to let us know so we can try to make it better because it's all about their benefits and their rights for their great service to the nation. Did you go to Walter Reed first? I went to Walter Reed. I was at Walter Reed from June to December. Mm -hmm. The first three months I was inpatient. Okay. And then uh, I had 13 surgeries while I was there. Okay. And I came here and uh, squad leader's been perfect. Nurse case manager, perfect. Platoon mm -hmm. sergeant, perfect. I haven't had any problems. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm one of the proactive soldiers, so I do the college and I do the EWPT and mm -hmm. the biking and whatever I could do to make this stay a little bit more enjoyable. Lieutenant General Bromberg observes best practices at each installation that will help all soldiers across the Army. 